How to be a salesperson 101. Let's go. The real question is how do I become a successful salesman or woman? Number one, knowledge is key. I don't care if you're selling watches, jewelry, shoes, or cell phones. You better know your product. So Bina, are you learning the books that I gave you? You're yeah, studying? I'm studying. I didn't get a chance to study this weekend, but little by little. Let me ask you a question. Why are you still asking me these questions? Just to make sure. Just to make sure. I want you to do it yourself. I okay. want you to learn. Since you're going to be a jewelry salesman, you have to have knowledge. Number two, confidence. If you're not confident that you have the ability to sell a product, you will not be successful. So have the confidence and believe that you're going to be the best. Even though Gary is the king of jewelry, he's a bit rough around the edges. And I heard it through a little birdie that told me that she may be feeling a bit overwhelmed, that it's my job to reverse the process. So tell me what issues you have. So that first week I like took off. Um, everything was going great. Things were happening for me. And then the week that you guys went to Miami, I had no DMs. No one wanted to talk to me and no sales. I then you come to me and I will show you. I'll help you. If I'm busy, I'll get somebody to help you. Again, our goal is for everybody to succeed here. And the minute that you feel down and you feel something isn't going your way, that's why my door is open. And just like Alex knows it and Nick and everybody else, you should know the same thing. All right. Go sell some shit. Thank you. <laughs> And number three, don't ever look backwards. Whether you were successful a day or a week ago, a new day is a new chapter. Take every day as it comes and never look back. Coming back from the show, one of the exciting things that I like to do besides packing for the show is I like unpacking for the show. I get to show off all the new stuff that I bought. I bought you a present, Natalie. Oh, thank you. Look how pretty this is. This is Tiffany. Okay, this is where it gets to be fun. 15202 BC, sold. I bought the Palladium Santos Skeleton Collection Privé. I bought three of them somewhere. It's a Ladies Royal Oak 34 millimeter limited edition with a lapis dial. Vacheron Constantine Perpetual Calendar Rose Gold Limited Edition Boutique with a great dial. Say that fast five times. Vacheron Constantine Perpetual Calendar Rose Gold Limited Edition Boutique with a great dial. <laughs> no way. Picked up a code 1159. Picked up a Audemars Piguet Perpetual Calendar Blue Dial Stainless Steel. Anna, don't touch nothing. Stuff goes missing when you come around. Give me that back. RM10 Limited Edition PVD Audemars Piguet. Rubensbury Kello 3. Deadbeat Seconds, Audemars Piguet, what's up? Now that we got all the new stuff, I can go upstairs and Adrian can tell me how much money he needs. Post the shows, the guys that came in from overseas all made their way down to our office to talk business, to talk industry, and just to sit down and shoot the sh in person for a change. How many mics is he gonna be wearing? Jeez. <laughs> I've got clips. These guys, clips. have a seat, have a seat, please. You take yeah. yeah, big pay. Yeah. BitPay is a great option to take in currency, but apparently it's not anonymous, so a lot of people don't want to do it. So there are a lot of kinks that are still have to be worked out. I call this a collection of cool but useless shit. What's this here? So, long story short, and there's a guy that makes this cool stuff. So he had this lamp, and I was like, I want the lamp, so I bought it. On top of that, he knew I was in the watch business, he made me a wristwatch. Like that? <laughs> cool. You know how I do it? I walk into a shop and I say, guys, I'll buy this watch, I'll buy that watch, I'll buy this watch. I'll give you this plus the clock on the wall. <laughs> That's how I got him. I think Alex is working on selling this one right now for 195. I want to steal Nico's watch because he has a 5712 rose gold on a bracelet that came in a bracelet. It's on the papers. I think it might be one off. It was special order. It was a pleasure to have Gavin, Spencer, and Paul at the office. And of course, then we went live on Paul's channel. So to see the rest of it, head over to Paul's channel. The live is up. And of course, everyone's favorite, Nico, showed up in the office. Smells like Irish whiskey. Ah, oh, <laughs> What's up, hey. wow. You well? And boy, did he stir up some noise. Yeah. Nico doesn't exactly speak English. If anybody needs a Mino translation. Nino speak English. How are you, need by the translation? Way. Nico, lovely to meet you. you. Who knows what dog bollocks means? Go ahead. Uh, well, is it slang? It's, it's, it's literal. It's like, like dogs have balls. Like. When something is really cool, it's dogs bollocks like. Oh. Can I show everybody how Nico woke up this morning? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I'm oh. just picking the right time to put this on Instagram. <laughs> That's how he woke up. Oh, and Johnny, and Johnny had to take an ice cold shower today. He was staying in the guest house. As if it's not cold outside, I just came from Florida, mate. Like Miami, I don't know. It's not Miami, it's Miami. Who's good at table tennis here? It's called ping pong. This is when shit about to get real. <laughs> All right. It's actually embarrassing, mate. Oh! oh. You shouldn't start the day playing ping pong because you, you're way out of shape. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised, Roman, you weren't bad. 
So incoming now is a client who wishes to sell us an RM6701, or should I say consign the watch with us. Oh my God, it's a beauty. It's like the one RM that you can actually wear with like a suit. The process is pretty simple. I mean, I can draft you up an agreement or we can just handshake deal it. When it sells, I'll pay you. Yeah. Agreement? No, 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 yeah. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> if you noticed in there, Adrian said, hey, would you like a consignment agreement or you just want to do a handshake on it? And the client said, nah, we can just handshake on it. Yes, that happens. This is a real life situation. And it just goes to show how important trust is and your name is in this industry. What we got? Oh, Jesus. Nico, I got something for you. I want a calorie deficit. That data. Ah. I get donuts. Apparently, there's cheesesteaks also coming today. Shout out to Federal Donuts. Literally, pound for pound, the best donut I have ever had. How are you? Pleasure meeting you. Lovely to meet you. Mate. What's your name? You're Trent. Sean. Sean, lovely nice to, to meet you, mate. Oh, oh yes, well, they're good. warm. Nico, they're still warm. That's outrageous, mate. Fuck off. I'm trying to lose weight. Oh my god. Sean shows up. He's a client and a fan and he wanted to meet us all in person. He wanted to do the transaction with Nick in person. Of course, Nick having read the room is trying to be super professional and super nice and then you got Lose weight. Nico in the background. Johnny! Don't get a donut. Oh, I lost this. I'm gonna write this right now. Awesome, appreciate two seconds. it. No rush, thank you. Another speedy in the books. And donuts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thursday Unboxing with a very special guest. Lower your cameras, please. <laughs> Nico, so cute. look at this. What do you think of this color? I'm colorblind. It's like really Miami, Florida beach watch. Oh, an olive. Two, two, eight, three, it's, four, it's five. Actually, it's actually a Rolex. Two, four, three, four, five. It's not an olive, it's a Rolex. Four, five. It's not, a, it's, it's a watch. Two, two, eight, two, two, eight. Can I get it at two, three, five? Now two, three, five and a half, now five and a half, now, now. You know, I sold one. On the unboxings, we're not allowed to talk about what prices were before, and we're not allowed to talk about COVID. Those are two rules I forgot to tell you, I apologize. Not to talk about COVID. Next item up. Why are you going so fast? I have no time because, to see because, nothing. Because, so what is it, what's the nickname for this watch? Wimbledon. Wrong. In Luxury Bazaar, because of Anna, we call this the badminton. Because one day she walked in and says, look, I bought the new badminton. <laughs> you serious? You didn't, didn't you? I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's a new badminton. I, I, like, I like the way he says badminton. To be fair, this is one of my favorite day chests. The steel the, one. This I, or an oyster? The Jubilee bracelet steel. But Jubilee. not the two-tone, you're saying? No, not the not two-tone. This not the rose gold. But the two-tone steel one is class. And this is still class. good. Yeah, it's class. Yeah. Fucking class. Today's class. <laughs> Next up. Hey! Reference number. 126710BLNR. Correct. One. You know I still don't memorize reference numbers, right? No. Because I think it just doesn't Oh, this is brand new. It is brand new. Next we have, surprise, another Rolex. Sub two-tone. Sub two-tone. Like, why is this not getting as much love as the bluesy? Because the bluesy is one of the most beautiful dials I've ever seen in my life. Oh, well, obviously. It you is. You heard it here first. The blue dial, the Sunburst blue dial, is one of the nicest dials ever. I think this watch would have been more successful if it had the same black, matte black dial as the Sea Dweller. Still no. that cheaper, bluesy Le option. Oh, Perpetual. Wrong. The, um, this is the equation of time. Equation of time, yeah, Perpetual calendar. So, you couldn't answer the question correctly at the antique show. What is the equation of time complication? I still can't answer. It shows the difference between solar time and mean time. Yeah. Or AKA lunar time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude today's unboxing. And this is it. With the crazy Nico. Is there not more? And you guys all expected madness. And I expected madness. I expected some f***ing Hublot I can't to come out and stuff. And no, I'm no. Like, oh wait, we, we got to bring him a Hublot. No, 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 you won't. Guys, thank you for tuning in. There's actually we'll people watching this. I'm not, yeah. I, I'm how many? 133 right now. 133 people. Oh, she's here. live. There's actually 133 people here. Let me see this. Oh, this is Roman. Guys, Roman, the team here, you. You don't want to know this guy because he'll kill you. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this has been one of the most fun unboxings I've ever done. Having Nico in the flesh do pretty much anything with you is dogs bollocks. All right, so I just had a client uh, purchase five watches from me and I'm gonna give him a call right now and just let him know I took care of everything. Uh, we had three of them in stock, but we actually had to source two of them. So the five watches that he bought were all Rolexes. We bought three Submariners and two Datejust, all in different variations, some two-tone, some black dial, Rose, Wimbledons. I think they're going as gifts, so 
pretty happy to clear that up with him. But um, he's also interested in a paddock, so I'm gonna give him a call. Hey, what's going on? Not much, what's going on? So the watches are shipped, all five. Those will be at your door tomorrow. And then as for the paddock, I know we were talking about the 5980 on a strap. I was gonna ask you, would, would you be interested in a 2019 possibly, if it was a little cheaper? I know I quoted you like 230, but um, I could do like 225 on a 2019. Do you think the market is gonna come down on these watches or? Just, who knows, right? just, just based off where the full rose is going, I couldn't see the market dropping. Who knows though, you know, I can't really guarantee this. I can't, this is just off my own speculation. If now's not the right time, then we'll figure something out in the future, hopefully. The ones that you sent me today, the all cards, everything comes fully linked, everything, right? Right, everything is, trust me, I went through each and every watch. Uh, everything right. is perfect. All right, yeah, so I'll wait to get it tomorrow, then I'll give you a buzz when I receive it. Awesome, awesome. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, you brought you brought me a beautiful Cartier. So you told me about this on the phone, but I don't remember already. Do you know what you pay for this? Yeah. Seven. Seven. What was that was probably a list. Look, if you left it here, I can get you your money out of it, which is a seven grand. If I was buying it, I would be paying five. Uh, and this one, I mean, I buy these for like fifteen hundred bucks. Okay. So it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to consign it, you won't get hurt on this. I don't know what you pay for How this. How long do you think it will take? It can take a day, it can take a month, it can take a year. But I sell shit pretty quickly. So I'd rather you not lose money on that because I know I can get at least net you seven out of it. Okay. If that's what you paid. So I'd rather you leave it here rather than you taking that hit. Okay. You know what I mean? And this is just whatever. I'll take the 15 for that. Yeah, so I can give you 15 for this and leave this on consignment. Okay. Does that make sense? All right, cool. So when a client of almost 20 years comes to your office and says, listen, I'm gonna sell off a couple of pieces I haven't worn in five years, rather than beating him over the head and giving him a wholesale value on the watch and him losing money, I asked him how much he paid. If I'm able to get that money out for him on a consignment basis, I will always choose to do that over profit. 6701, Richard Mill. I am planning to do a FaceTime with a client that was interested in the, he just wants to see it in person to see if it's gonna fit his wrist. Hi, Anna. Yeah. Okay, so I have the watch here, one moment. I mean, on me, it's still big, but... Pretty sure I got a little bigger wrist than you, right? I'm sure. I mean, compared Anna. to the 5712, it's it's pretty close, because the other one is also on, um, on a bracelet. It looks, it looks nice. like it's a bigger size. It's very nice. And I could always change the strap, right? Yes, you can change uh, the colors. White for the summer, red, blue. Possibilities are endless. Was it purchased in the US? It's actually the person that sold it to us, originally bought it from us. Oh, really? Re recently, how do we know? Because it still has our sticker on it. It was a dealer, so it wasn't worn. If you're taking it, I'll put it aside for you. Maybe like a couple hours to meditate. Okay, on it. sure, and no problem. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sounds good, right. thank bye -bye. you. Talk to you soon, bye-bye. He's going to think about it and give me a call in a few hours. He did end up buying the watch. So I do have the necklace here. Awesome. She saw this on the computer, so I took note. So then I decided, all right, I'm gonna pull the plug, so. And you know what I like about what Sabina did with me? She didn't upsell me. Yeah. She actually said, hey, I think this one's more simple. Yeah. It's actually the cheaper of the options too. Yeah. So Sabina took her advice in stride and after a couple of days, she went from being overwhelmed and disappointed to happy-go-lucky and selling again. I think she's gonna love this. It's almost like you know her, you know? <laughs> You're my new jewelry person, so. Awesome. <laughs> um, so I'll definitely be reaching out to you with uh, any further purchases for sure. So job well done, Sabina. Okay. Thank you. You got the job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for reaching out to me and um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I can make this happen with you. <laughs> yeah. Great job, Sabina. So Roman, Adrian, and I need to sit down and talk about some business, but if you know Roman, he gets easily distracted. The two goats were Michael Jackson you're and Madonna. You're telling me Michael Jackson is more influential than Paul McCartney. Yeah, 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 talking yeah, about yeah, the yeah, goat yeah. of my time. When I was younger, yeah. the female was Madonna and the male was Michael Jackson. There was nobody. Yeah, you're talking about pop stars. Huh? Yeah, no, no, pop stars. Yeah. I'm talking about somebody who wrote his whole entire catalog as basically the most number one hits ever. We can talk about Frank Sinatra. Paul McCartney didn't have that much influence on me. Michael Jackson. <laughs> I mean, that shit was like. Uh, I mean, wait, come wait, on now. Paul McCartney literally sat, sat, sat there with a bass guitar and a guitar and a piano, wrote his own shit. He dreamt up yesterday in a dream. Yesterday. In a dream. You know, you know what I love? You know what I love about that song? Case is closed. When your dad sings, it seems like yesterday. <laughs> oh, my trouble sent so far away. <laughs> Got some good news, got some bad news. $50 million is what we tried to raise, and we got an offer for $50 million. After 
revising the draft twice and revising the offer twice and us counter offering twice what we're looking at right now is not a deal we want with these guys as much as i would love to strike a deal with them at the end of the day the deal could potentially kill the company like if somewhere something were to go wrong pretty much owning all of luxury bazaar's assets and i'm not willing to risk that for no money so i think the next step is me and you we need to create update and create a proper deck because I think my next step I want to do is talk it on the gray market about this. We had a bunch of people reach out yeah. to say, I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm interested, right? I mean, our perfect scenario is for somebody to come in, pick up 10% equity of the company, give us a nice credit line to play with. And that's it. Because that initial boost of funds, again, we're going to put towards inventory, which is going to result in additional income, which will more than cover the interest payment on, let's say, a $20 million line. Why can't we just reach out to existing clients and network that we know have it. That's what exactly what I'm doing. Oh, but to do that, I, this I do is, that I'm not, I'm not dealing, I'm not dealing with private equity right now. I'm not dealing with bankers. I'm, I'm dealing with private individuals. So the private individuals we're going to reach out to, they, oh, if I'm going to give them 10% of the return on their investment on their loan, that's not going to make them or break them. What's exciting is owning 10% of the company. And obviously Sexy in part. three years, if we go from a hundred million dollar valuation to a three, $400 million valuation, the initial investment quadruples or triples. And that's really the goal. Okay. So, yeah, let's make, it, let's make it good. Listen, they usually say your first offer is the best offer, and I don't think this is the case. I guess we'll find out. So I had a client call in uh, a few hours ago who regrets to inform me that his wife by accident donated his Rolex <laughs> Daytona 18238. Uh, I guess they were out at a party. Um, and he took his watch off and put it in his inner suit pocket and then his wife donated the suit the next day because she didn't like the way that her husband looked at it. Um, so long story short, he is in the market for another day date. Uh, he called in, he's a huge fan of the show and we're trying our best to make sure that this works out for him. Whoever got that watch, it like made their day, it probably made their year. We're going downstairs to do quality control on a watch that we're going to ship. Oh yeah, another good tip in sales. Whatever product you sell, make sure there's a QA process involved. And not just from a QA department, but from you as a salesperson, as a first line of defense. It's the code 1159. I try to check every watch that I sell to make sure everything is in order. And if I'm not able to, I make sure to have somebody else do it because the one watch you're not gonna check is the one watch that's gonna have an issue. So we need to make sure it's new, that it works, and it's ready to go. One is the 5712 rose gold, and then Frank Mueller, Turbian rose gold, code 1159, blue rose gold, chrono. Last but not least, the stainless steel guide dweller with the black dial. And then I went to do a watch trade with the client. Go that way, to your left, to your left. All right, <laughs> good, thank you. <laughs> that's great. He wanted to remain anonymous, but we did get to see some cool stuff. Oh, that's awesome, phenomenal. And I think it's perf oh, perfect wow. size. Great. How's it feel? Great. Not hanging too low. Size. No, no, no. Oh, okay, I love it. So he purchased a platinum day date with the green dial, and that's what we call a low key flex. No one has ever said that being a salesperson is an easy job to do, but take some of the tips and tricks that I've given you throughout this video, apply them, and really think hard: Is this something for you? Whether you decide to sell watches, jewelry, or pencils is really irrelevant. The concept stays the same. I wouldn't be a salesperson if I didn't ask. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, comment below, like the video, it helps the algorithm and it helps this video. And last but not least, that little bell down there, I don't know which side it's going to be. Make sure you click that, that way you'll get a notification when the next video pops off.